People gathered around to watch athletes who trained in Bozeman compete to be best in the world. Yeah, Kendall. In your life, you have to learn to adapt from challenges and mistakes you've made, and really nobody ever has a perfect race. Pool tables at the Rock and R became extra seating when the Paralympic biathletes took to the track in Beijing. I think it's just a wonderful example of how Bozeman supports our own, comes together. Crosscut Mountain Sports Center is the home base for the U.S. Paralympic Nordic Ski Team. Think about how difficult these sports are. Nordic skiing, add in biathlon, Traveling the world with a ski bag, if you're a Nordic skier, that's bad. If you're a biathlete, you have to take a rifle box. And if you're a para-athlete, you have to take a wheelchair and a sit-ski. Uh, this is an organization that is first and foremost about community. And a part of that community is Oksana. Uh, Oksana's been really open um, about her journey. Um, she was born in Ukraine. Her mother was pregnant with her during Chernobyl. Which led to complications and health problems. She was put into an orphanage and then when she was about five years old, her mother from the United States, she saw her photo of her and a little bit about Oksana and she, she tells the story that she just knew right away, that's my daughter. Oksana put her mind to her second race and is coming home with the silver medal. And the gold? Well, that's coming to Bozeman too with her U.S. teammate Kendall Gretsch. Yeah, Kendall, all right, way to go. What, one thing I am proudest about is making a home for Paralympics. These facilities are very few and far between, so to have a facility where these guys can train is just, it, I know it's instrumental for them, but we love it too. It's a great day for Crosscast, great day for Bozeman. It's a great day for America. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.